This video is sponsored by Skillshare. What's up guys, I got a brand new video for you today. I'm here with Kira. And we are on a road trip to get the ultimate shots. We just drove forever to find this dirt road. And we've got like this really sick view. And we're gonna shoot some like Western style stuff today, some like 70s vibe stuff. We got some cool locations in store. But we're shooting with the new 33 millimeter F1.4. And yeah, let's see how it holds up. So what are we wearing here today? Who are we wearing? What designer? Whoa, don't fall in the ditch. Little House on the Prairie. All right, let's get some shots here. I think I'm gonna kind of offset you a bit so that like I can see down the road more because you're kind of blocking the road. So you're gonna be right in the middle. Sick. Looking off, off your right shoulder. Yeah, hold that one second. I'm gonna go back a bit. Love that chimp just a little more. And then turn your head off to your left a bit more. Yeah. That, nice. That's what I'm looking for. Ooh. Love that. Okay, so I'm shooting F2 now. I don't even care if you're looking off that way. It's kind of sick. You might have to drop your hand off the hat though at some points, just so I don't have a lot of shots like this. I thought I wore a belt today, but I guess I forgot one. <laughs> My pants are falling down. Ooh, stop, stop right there. Let that sun hit more of your leg there and like cross the leg over like you're in a, you're about to walk and then look back up off to your left. Okay, let's turn this way a bit. Just so the sun hits the edge of your cheek there. Yeah. We get looking off your shoulder. Want one where just like you're kind of pulling the hair out of your face, which is going to be like kind of a portrait shot. Chin up just a bit. All right, you can sit on this old bag. <laughs> sit in this old bag, something like that. Just sitting in my dirt road. Can we face actually into the sun? Yep. Love that. Can we do one arm back? Is that possible? That's amazing. Love it. Shoot on the shadow side. Yeah. We're done with this location. We're gonna to move to another one. We're gonna keep the dress though because we want like a cedar fence. Is that what they're called? We're looking for a cedar fence. We'll find one out here somewhere. We found the fence. Um, let's go down to like where the wildflowers are. Face detection's actually surprisingly working through all of that. Looking off your back shoulder. It's a, it's a better take on the, everyone always does the sun thing. And the, you know, the thing about the sun thing is that you still want to see their eyes, so they're not even blocking the sun. It's so true. All right, so we've been shooting with this lens for a while now, and the first thing I noticed, nice and small, nice and light and compact, and the next thing I noticed was how quick and fast and smooth and silent the autofocus is. And that's because it's using that new linear motor that the 18 millimeter also has. And that's a huge upgrade for Fuji's lenses because this is really nice. And I also noticed that the focus ring and aperture ring have a little bit more dampening. So you get a little bit more feedback when you're turning it. And that was kind of the complaint I had on the 18 millimeter F1.4 is that there was really no feedback when you turn the aperture ring or the focus ring. And it kind of just felt like you were turning nothing. So this lens does have a nine round of blade aperture that goes from f1.4 to f16. It's got a close minimum focus distance of 30 centimeters, and it's not that heavy. It comes in at around 390 grams. And I'd say that the weight and size is actually similar to 
the kit lens. So the 18 to 55, they're almost exactly the same size and kind of width and weight, to be honest. And lastly, it has a 58 millimeter front filter thread. Let's get back on the road. We went from the country to the beach. I've captured a wild Kira in her element. The van has arrived. You're missing one key ingredient to this outfit. The one boot again. How's it every time I pan down to show the outfit, there's this one boot? We have one hour to shoot. Can we do it? I think we can. All right, I'm recording the screen now. Nice. Hold that. We get a little closer. We got a little bit of wind in the hair. Wouldn't mind some more of that. Okay, maybe lean back on that back uh, part if you can. So I wanna get that TV in frame. Nice. Ugh, it's a weird angle. Turn yourself a little bit more into the sun. Yeah. Let that left arm drop a bit more. Yeah. Holy, what a vibe. Okay, this is gonna be good. I just gotta switch lenses to something a little wider. I'm doing a lens review and then I don't even use the lens. Do that, but bring it into the sun if you can. Cool. Look towards the front console of the truck. Yeah. Cool. I'm gonna switch back to the other lens. Oh, that's kind of sick. No, that's dope. I wonder if I can shoot through here. Bring both your arms down kind of thing. Yeah, that's sick. I'm like getting through the smallest crack in the door. <laughs> it's so weird, but I love it. Hey, we got an awesome sponsor for today's video and that's my good friends over at Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes for creatives just like you. And right now is the best time to explore new skills, deepen existing interests, and get lost in creativity. With Skillshare's online classes, you never know what you're gonna find. So maybe you're thinking of getting better at filmmaking, or maybe you wanna learn and understand the fundamentals of photography or shooting in natural light. Well, there's tons of classes just like that that cover those topics, and some that come to mind are Cinematography Basics, Understanding Filmmaking Style by Zach Mulligan, or Portrait Photography, Working with Natural Light by Benjamin Heath. And as I've mentioned before, I'm interested in making a better brand for myself because I'm not that good at it. And I'm learning a lot in Kate Aaron's class called Personal Branding, Crafting Your Social Media Presence. And maybe this is something that would also interest you and you know, maybe it's something you should also check out for yourself. These classes will help you learn from the ground up with an easy step-by-step -step layout, kind of like chapters of a book. And all these classes are curated and they have no ads and that's gonna keep you focused wherever your creativity takes you. When you join, you can also check out Skillshare's live classes so you can experience real-time inspiration as you connect with popular teachers, also while you're working with other members. And you know, whether you're a hobbyist or a pro, you are creative and there's a class for every skill level. So the first thousand of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today. Thanks Skillshare, back to the video. Let's try one looking out the back towards me. Looking straight out towards the sun now. I wish there wasn't a family van in front of us. <laughs> I'm hiding it though. That's so good. Yeah, maybe that's a good idea getting out like one leg about to drop. Yeah. Okay, ready, go for it. Sick. All right, maybe one sitting on the floorboard and just, we'll just do a straight on.
Keep your head tilted straight though. Okay. Straight on. You can bring the one hand up to your hat like you had. It's getting hot in here. We're getting close to the end here. We've shot as much as we can. We thought about doing another outfit change, but it's kind of weird to do too many outfits on the same like small studio space. That'll work. Can you look off towards the sun? Could you twist your body into the sun just a little? It won't look weird on camera. Sick. Bring the hand down. Off the hat, sorry. Do you want to do that leaning thing where you reach out and like kind of just drop your arms? And I'll just be on this side here. Maybe one of these where you kind of like, yeah. Can you look out towards the sun again? Cool. Like the leaning. Oh, hold that, hold that. Bring it more like back around your hat. Just hold that for a second. Yo, look at this. Once I found the frame. Holy. Okay, look three. Does this work? So we found this sketchy looking apartment building. We don't know what's going on here. There is a domestic dispute happening. <laughs> All right, so here are my final thoughts on the 33 millimeter f1.4. I'm pretty stoked on this new lens design and I think that a lot of people are gonna be really happy with this lens. When it comes to the image quality, which is most important about these lenses is how sharp it is, you know, and the characteristics in the bokeh. Um, obviously it's sharp. Fuji always makes very sharp lenses and they do a really good job on optics. And when it comes to the bokeh, it, it has a vibe. I wouldn't say it's, you know, the most pleasing bokeh ever, which I'm surprised with but it definitely has a look and it's kind of an interesting characteristic, which in some cases is kind of nice. So, you know, this isn't like a under the microscope, super clinical review of this lens. I think that, you know, the images I took look great, but it's it's got a vibe. When it comes to autofocus, obviously it's gonna be quiet, it's gonna be fast, it's gonna be smooth. And that's the big advantage of these new linear motors. And I'm really happy that Fuji's putting it into these lenses because this is a major update that Fuji needed. That said, when I was doing continuous eye detection autofocus, it kept missing the eye quite a bit. And again, I don't know if my autofocus settings are perfect. I just got them set to multi-purpose. And that was something me and Kira both noticed when we were looking back at the photos. So I praised Fuji on the 18 millimeter because it did such a good job. And you know, they did a really good job on this 33 millimeter as well. So huge thumbs up on this lens. Cause we just ran across the road. The lighting is getting so nice. We got the motel behind us. It's backwards because they're using the front camera on my phone. <laughs> Look back at me. There, it's full. All right, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Thanks to Kira. No props. We got some crazy shots today, so I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, yeah. The 33 millimeter f1.4 is 7.99 US, and it comes out in the end of October, I believe. If I'm wrong, I'll put it <laughs> somewhere in the video. But thanks for watching. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you dislike this video, give it a thumbs down twice. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And I'll see you guys in the next one. I feel like you're taller than me. Why is my head so big? <laughs> and I'm just trying to stall time. You got clothes on back there yet? Oh yeah, <laughs> here it goes. This, uh... The last shoot I was on, this exact same thing happened. What? One boot. Memory full. We did it. The sun just went away. There's literally no clouds. We're, we're, oh, one cloud. Look mom, no clouds. Oh.